Coinbase launched their new chain known as Base, and tokens on it are going nuts. In today's video, I'll show you everything you need to add Base to your MetaMask wallet, to bridge over to Base, and then a few things you can do to get started using this new chain. As a reminder, nothing I say in this video is financial advice. This is for educational purposes only. Now, let's get into it. First, what exactly is the Base chain? Base is Coinbase's new Ethereum Layer 2. And for those of you who are not familiar with Ethereum Layer 2s, they are a way to scale Ethereum. So you use ETH as gas. You can run the same applications as Ethereum. However, it's faster and cheaper. And Coinbase's base chain has a lot of attention because for those of you who remember, one of the largest non-Ethereum chains right now is the Binance Smart Chain. And so many people are thinking, well, Binance, one of the largest exchanges, backed this other chain and it did very well. Perhaps Coinbase's base chain will do well as well. And then Coinbase's base Ethereum layer 2 rollup specifically is built using something known as the OP stack. And in today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to start using it. The first thing that you'll need to do is add base to your MetaMask wallet. To do that, select the MetaMask icon in your browser. And then the easiest way to do it is to click on expand view. That's going to make it a bit easier to add new chains. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to select add network. And you can search for a network here. However, base will not come up. So we're going to add a network manually. And then as far as what you should put for these values here, I'm going to refer you to the official base documents right here. And these are the values that you're going to want to put in. So for the network name, you'll put in base mainnet for the network RPC endpoint, you're going to put in mainnet.base.org. For the chain ID, you're going to put in 8453. And you can see mine has a slight error there because it's already added to my MetaMask wallet. That won't appear for you. For the currency symbol, we'll put ETH. And then for the block explorer URL, we will put basescan.org. And then you just click on save and it will add to your MetaMask. I already added it ahead of time. And so if we go over to networks and we select base, we can see that, yes, these are all the values for base chain. And so now that base is in our wallet, we are ready to start using it. And if you go over and look at the wallet now, you'll notice an obvious problem. And that is that there is currently no ETH at all in this wallet. So we have to bridge them over. And again, Coinbase base documents have a bridge that you can use here. Now, no warning. As of the time of making this video on July 30th, 2023, there is no way to bridge off. So you're sending ETH there, you're trusting Coinbase, you'll be able to bring it back. Just know this, right? However, if you want to be early, then sometimes you do have to take a bit of risk. And so the way that you can bridge ETH to base is by sending ETH to this contract right here. And I'm going to do that right now live. So we'll switch back to the Ethereum network. And this is a test wallet that I have a small amount of ETH in. I'm going to copy that address and I'm going to send, let's just send a tiny amount of test ETH over 0.005. So about $10 we'll send over. Network is busy, $5 gas fees, the price I pay to make these videos in a timely fashion. Let's confirm it. And then it may just take a few minutes to confirm the transaction. After a couple minutes, the transaction will go through. This took about seven minutes for me. And then you can move over to base chain on your MetaMask and you'll see a small amount of ETH has appeared here. And then note, the transaction will go through on Ethereum before it appears in your wallet on base. So don't panic if it's gone from your Ethereum wallet and it hasn't appeared on your base wallet yet. For me, it took maybe three minutes to leave Ethereum and then another three or four minutes to appear on base. And so once you're there, there's truthfully not a ton to do right now, but I expect that'll change at some point. You can use Elite Swap. That's the most used DEX as far as I can tell so far. So a lot of people are using Elite Swap to swap that ETH that you just bridged over for something else. You can use DEX Screener to find and chart new tokens on base. If you look at the chains over here on the left, and then base is one of the options. And then if you want to dive a bit deeper than the base blockchain explorer is basescan.org. And this is basically a copy of Etherscan. It's actually a product of Etherscan. It's just for base instead of Ethereum. 
and that should get you started on using Coinbase's new base layer too. If you want more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.